Hi, I'm Philip Vanderpool and welcome to The Virtue. Join me this week in Ohio as I'm there teaching kids how to turkey call. Are you really kidding me? <laughs> Tyler will be taking father, son, Brian and Brent Bell down there in Kentucky to the Bluegrass State to chase an old sad daddy longbeard. Then it's off to see my good buddy Larry Hamilton and old Longbeard Outfitters. Hey, you don't want to miss this episode. I'm going to be speaking at a wild game dinner at the New Hope Baptist Church. My good buddy Jamie Light with Follow the Blood TV lined this all up. Hey, I'm looking forward to it. Hey, as I walk in the door, there's my good friend, Michael Warren. Hey, he's drawing pictures of these kids. And what an amazing God-given talent this man has. And he's got such a huge heart. Michael, you the bomb, buddy. It's amazing what you can do with a pencil, huh? Man. Anytime I speak at a wild game dinner or I do a seminar, I try to get our kids involved. And I love it when I get all the kids up there and teach them a little bit how to turkey call. For me, I can do it this way. So you can do it this way, but I do it better this way. Listen to that, you can gobble with it. It seems like you always have a kid in the crowd that makes a difference out there and that will stand out. Hey, that is what it's all about when you get them involved. Well, on the day that I turned 21, my daddy handed me an old shotgun. He said, now this belonged to your grandpa, but it's yours now, son. Handle it with care. What I was so blessed with, not only sharing my passion with hunting, but my passion with Christ. And tonight, we had five people dedicate their lives to the Lord, and then we had two people that rededicated. That, my friends, is what it's all about. Because remember, as my good friend Brad Harris says, God is the true trophy. Let me introduce you to Tyler Trampler. He's one of the Virtue Pro staff, and he's down there in Kentucky with Brian and Brett Bell. Tyler will be taking father, son, Brian and Brett Bell down there in Kentucky to the Bluegrass State to chase an old sad daddy longbeard. Tyler, way to go. This is what the virtue is all about, sharing that moment. My good buddy Brett Bell just got it done this morning. Um, we're in northern Kentucky. It's probably rained the last two days. I don't know, somewhere around two inches or so. Man, the sun came out this morning. I, I, we were hoping they'd be talking, and they were, but are you excited, Brett? Yeah, I'm very happy right now. <laughs> all I told him was, wait till he gets to the decoys. <laughs> and he did. and. Uh, the rest is history. What a gobbler. This gobbler weighed 24.9 pounds, 10 and 3 quarter inch beard, inch and eight spurs. That is a trophy in anybody's book. Turkey hunting and fishing have a whole lot in common. That's why I use a wide variety of turkey calls, just like you would if you're using fishing lures. And it can make all the difference in your turkey hunt. Check out dual game calls. Well, I'm ready to head on down to the Sunshine State. When I get there, I'm gonna be hunting with my good buddy Larry Hamilton at Old Longbeard Outfitters. This will be my second year in a row. It's good to have you. Yeah. Yes, sir. It just rained hard today. I mean. Oh, you guys, I have roads a mess. Oh, mercy. I almost <laughs> had to put uh, floats in the blinds. <laughs> ready to do some turkey hunting? I'm ready. 
to hear the twang off the string of that elite. Hey, I got here yesterday afternoon and then the rain hit. Here come the rain. And hey, I'm doing a little bit of solo cam this morning. Got a hen right up here. And actually, I believe that was a hawk that was on the ground beside her. And I got him flying off. It was kind of cool. six hens out here and they ain't a dead gum gobbler with them. What in the world is going on? Oh, a lot of hens so far, seven hens today. Not as many as yesterday, but we still got some time. Y'all, it's time we got to get the blind. Move it. Tomorrow's the last day. I hate to take it down, but we're gonna have to, buddy. That's right. Yeah, that's part of hunting. We got a better place to put it. Well, I just thought I was gonna be leaving Florida. Unfortunately, things fell through with our kids' outdoors event down there in Alabama. There's a reason for everything, and I believe that the good Lord has placed me in here tonight for a reason. I don't know why plans changed. Had that hand in front of me, but I do know this. I give him all the glory. I want y'all to know that. Because he is the way, the truth, and the life. And that's the life that I choose. You ain't gonna believe this, buddy. You not even. <laughs> Soon as I hung up the phone, I smoked him. I, I mean, it, he went in some woods. I gotta go find him. <laughs> so many people have asked me, why did you switch to Elite? It's called shootability. Go take the shootability test and try it in Elite. I think you'll be surprised. Any time that you're self-videoing and you're down to the wire, which I am a lot of times, to hear the twang off the string of that synergy and watching that Elite eat, there's nothing like it. Watching that arrow fly through there right to its mark. Look at the beard on this guy. <laughs> Look at that look. <laughs> Is that a, not a dandy? Look at that. Big old turkey, look at this, buddy. Beauty. You said, Philip, I think I know the place. What a hunt. We've had hens on us. Oh, yes. Unbelievable. I can't believe how many hens you got. They gotta be gobblers around. We knew there was somewhere, but- It's been they, a hard hunt. This hey. wasn't easy. You were all packed up and ready to go home. I know. And then your plans changed. And when they changed, you had to, everything packed up in the vehicle. And I said, well, let's take you out this afternoon. And you got it at the last minute. I, I don't know what to say. I do want to say this, and I'll say it one more time. I want to dedicate this hunt to Austin and Savannah, their, their kids. And Austin is a special needs kid, buddy. This one is for you, the virtue. This week's Share Your Moment is brought to you by HunterEd.com. I guess we just shot our first turkey. Me. 
This week's viewer upload of Share the Moment was sent in by Mitch Strobel as he captures his lovely wife, Stephanie, with her very first turkey kill. You did, you picked him up. I didn't even see him. Uh -huh. There's still goblin. I was like, he's coming. That was so much fun. <laughs> it's moments like these that we truly live for. So if you have a moment, go to thevirtue.tv where you can win a hunt with yours truly, Philip Vanderbilt.